Here's a site that's a discovery in itself. This came to me like they all do, you know, just spending the hours and searching. And when I found these beautiful, unique symbols carved in the soft ground there, you know, I went with it because it's, uh, it helps me outline my thoughts and the compartmentalization of, of each of the chapters and then how I can decipher them. And it was a big piece of how I put it together in an outline to make sense of all the content and bring the discoveries to the world.
Johnny Tassan. I'm a geologist and owner of a company called GeoVortex. Uh, the company's been around for going on a year now. A lot of my work was done during COVID out in the field. Uh, you know, I was in isolation as we all were. And, and uh, you know, I had time to really explore and, and hike and map some of the great areas that I went to. And the company was really born out of both a personal and a, you know, and a, and a nature and science uh, a journey. You know, it all came together. and. And finally, over the last year, I'm, I'm able to put it to a video and I am opening up the channel to uh, the exclusive content for paid subscriptions and supporters. So what I'm asking is to uh, take a look at, um, you know, the, the content list and, and look at the live events that I'm going to be uh, posting and, and ask for collaboration and I ask for uh, inquiries to be you know, professionally uh, vetted so uh, we can make the best use of what this discovery means for, for mankind. Um, you will not see anything like this anywhere on social media. This is as authentic and, and human as it can be. Um, I'm not a, you know, never been a big uh, academia researcher or anything like that, but I happen to be a very experienced uh, geologist with years in the field and and uh, working in corporations and this is this is really a culmination of so much not only what I've done but the things I've seen um, in bringing it to you uh, today so I have upwards of uh, almost 20 videos including the first trilogy which is called the, the winds uh, it's called ground zero and the chase that one is about an hour long the next trilogy will be about an hour and then the third trilogy will be about an hour. The reality and the resources, when I say that, it's like, what caused that? How can that be? You know, and so as geologists, we try to process the resource. It's the beginning. It's the whole string of events to how things look today and to, and to have the um, aptitude and be able to dissect those pieces of well, looking at the colors and you're looking at the replication, you're looking at the the quantum nature of the things I've found in the microscope, comparatively in, in handhelds, um, you start getting an idea of, of the magnitude of what I'm talking about. This is what I call the green ice gas phase crystal. This cuts marble. Um, it, it's, it's super hard. It's uh, tested organically. It's an alien gemstone but it's got a curve just like the skulls. And that um, I put this in some water. Uh, it started bubbling with these little micro bubbles. This is in my, this is in my video called Strings of Life. Um, I took those little droplets and over about 15 minutes, it started growing uh, the species that is the kind of the punchline of the whole documentation that I'm leading to with my with my series of shape and the matrix is a lot to do with also the, the whole story of uh, what I'm putting together for you. Okay, so now um, this, so this research field is gonna continue. This is just the start of it. It's gonna continue for uh, decades and generations. So. I know there's going to be some interested kids and that this is going to be exactly what uh, the science, technology, engineering and mathematics groups could ask for. This is this is new. This is this is uh, this is significant. OK, this is significant in the way that um, will explain a lot of the, uh, the mysteries that we've never been able to explain before that it led at least the mysteries we've never even tried to explain before because we've never even seen it. So now we can gather the evidence, put it together and start having a reasonable understanding of this. Cause, cause you gotta understand um, that describing and telling people what infinity is, is a, is a Herculean process, I think. But when I'm, able to tell you that I've seen it both in the 120 micron in the microscope to large uh, physical 
assets seen on Google Earth. The scale of that is, is what I'm talking about. So everything in between is, is a different focal point, but I've had the focal point of both microscopic and also large, and then able to put it all in between with the processes that I can understand the, the quantum nature of how the, how the, um, how it's all been uh, worked over billions of years. And that's, that's the, that's the essence of what I'm talking about. What this also means is, is to understand your lands and, and how it all works and to understand the bigger picture because we're only on this uh, earth for so long, okay? What I'm talking about, we're only on the earth a short time comparatively to the billions of years that earth has been here and then, and then billions upon years more so in the galaxy that, is, that we've still untapped that um, we have to be able to understand how we can make humanity more harmonious with our, our, our world, our physical world, how we build buildings on the coast, how we, how we harness uh, and keep our fresh water sources, how do we keep the balance of agriculture and, and social and, and, and uh, equality and in our natural environment harmonious it's going to take a lot of technology to take a lot of fortitude to put things together but we don't have a choice what i've learned is that if this is a new nature okay what i'm telling you i found it i found a new nature and there's sciences that have proven it that i that i found and can document and i can find and i can say ah that looks like sintering, now that's powder metallurgy, and that's, you know, a, a super alloy that's on that ocean that's developing its colors through single cell, single phase uh, uh, processing and, and, you know, finding that. And, and you know, what I want to show you right now is, is, is one of those super alloys <laughs> that I found, that I, that I produced, and I produced it by hitting this five pound hammer across a little face of a, of a terraform down in Southeast Colorado. And it's, it's perfect. It's a super alloy of cobalt, nickel, iron, and carbon. And it's as light as a feather, but it's, but it's, this is the technology I'm talking about. You know, all through the rocks and all through the geological ages and all through what I found, it's, it's, there's a reason, okay? There's a reason for this. This is the, this is the, the, the cleave that came off that you can see that it's perfect. That's not natural. That's not a natural geology, how straight that is. And then when I hit this, I broke up that off and it cleaved into one cell and it was in my glove. I mean, what are the chances of that? of ever doing that again. That's what that's, that's what this is about. This is about having a, a limitless curiosity. This is about a, like an infinite dimensions of, of all of it. Uh, you know, the, the whole geological spectrum, it is, I call it the geovortex because, because it is. It's all of this that's just in this amazing swirl of, of information and, and processing and science, and it's, it's just, just consume me. So, you know, I think that proves to us that we have a higher calling uh, to, to, to make ourselves and, and the people that we love around us better, to help support them, to lift them up, give them a sense of, give them a sense of it, it, eternal faith that no matter how sometimes bad our lives are having, we can find things, we can find things at, the, at, at our feet that can change our life, right? So, so being open, right? Having, a, having a, a natural attitude about the openness and not be oblivious to, the, to your world, okay? To, to your country to understand that.
um, that this is a this is a technology that powers beyond what we've ever uh, could imagine.